Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Studio Series 86 Cup. And this decal set includes five decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Studio Series 86 Cup, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Cup looks pretty good. I mean, to be honest, I really don't think this Studio Series 86 figure looks anything like the way he did in the 86 movie. I mean, you can tell it's Cup, but I'm just not a fan of the looks of this figure. Now, he does offer a lot of great sculpted details from top to bottom and fairly decent paint applications. He's got the light blue up there on the head gray face, really dark eyes. I can't tell if that's black or a dark blue. He's got some black up here underneath the head. Combination of light gray, light blue, orange there on the forearms, Autobot logo there on the stomach, orange belt buckle, some orange there on the wrists. And really that's about it for the paint applications. So there you go, guys. One final look at Studio Series 86 Cup before and after. And oh my God, did Toy Hacks improve the looks of this figure. Now, before I get going on about the decals, I do want to point out that I was wrong about the eyes. They are, in fact, translucent plastic, so they do have some light piping. There's a little window right there on the back of his head, so if you get some light just right i think that looks pretty good now moving on to the decals the first one you're probably noticing is the new chest decal i absolutely love that i think that looks so good and so much better than that cybertronian circuitry look that he had now if you are a fan of that look there is an optional decal right here that you can use in place of this one this goes behind the clear windshield to really enhance that Cybertronian circuitry look. But like I said, I'm an old G1-er. I like that. Now, Cup's decals are very G1 toy inspired. And starting here on top of the chest, he has new yellow decals right there, along with this decal right there in front of the head. Moving on down to the wrists, he has these new gold decals that go all the way around the wrist. New Autobot logo there. New decals for the belt. You got silver and gold. Moving on down to the knees, you got these red, yellow, and silver decals. Moving on down to the feet, you got white and red right there. And an optional decal, if you choose, he has tattoos. I've got one here that says Wreck and Rule. You have a couple of different options. Now, some other hidden decals that this figure has is... One of the gimmicks that Studio Series 86 Cup has is you can remove the limbs to kind of show battle damage, like the Robo Squid ripped him apart in the movie. So if you pull the arm off, there is a decal here on the inside that is silver with red circles. You get one of those for each arm and one for each leg. It's the same decal, just larger chrome with red circles. I really dig that. So putting cup right there. Another decal he gets is, or actually two decals, right there for the Energon dispenser to make that pink instead of clear like that. So it looks like it's actually dispensing Energon. So there you go, guys. Studio Series 86 cup after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Cup looks okay. Just like robot mode, 
the vehicle mode just doesn't look like it did in the 1986 animated movie, but still looks pretty decent enough. I mean, you can tell that is Cup. Not a big fan of the windshield right there with the weird designs underneath. I'm more used to that solid collar, which I do believe Toy Hacks is going to add. He's got the red Autobot logo right there and another red Autobot logo on both sides of the truck. Got a little white, or not white, kind of a light green collar there on the side. And really that's about it for the details. Not a big fan of these tires. I hate the clip-on wheels. They just, they look cheap. So there you go, guys. There is Cup in vehicle mode before and after. And I absolutely love what Toy Hacks was able to do for Cup's vehicle mode. Just like the robot mode, it is very G1 inspired. Of course, you got the new windshield right here. There is a black decal that goes all the way around this section here to kind of give that a little bit more depth. Yellow decal right there on top. New Autobot logo there. Some headlights. And I really like what they did for the wheel. That looks so good. So here is the Toy Hex wheel. And there is the wheel straight out of the box. Now, let me show you how you do that. Toy Hex gives you two decals for the wheel. You have this big black decal here. This is the base. So what do you want to do? Go ahead and peel this off. And you want to apply that right to the center of the tire or the wheel. Get that on there. And now you have the wheel decal itself. Get that peeled off. I can find the edge. There we go. And now just get that in the center. And there we go. So what a vast improvement. That just looks so good. So now moving on, we got new Autobot logos there on either side. A door right there on the back. I always figured that's how you got inside Cup to drive him around, was there was a hatch on the back. The red decals right there for the truck bed. Very G1-ish. All kinds of lights here on the back. You got lights there on the side. Brake lights there. Yellow lights there. And lights there on the inside. All in all, this thing looks great. So we will compare Studio Series 86 Cup with his G1 counterpart, so you can see those G1 throwbacks. Very prominent back here on the back. I love it. He looks so good now in vehicle mode. So there you go, guys. Cup in vehicle mode after. As usual, Toy Hacks knocks it out of the park with their decal set for Studio Series 86 Cup. He looks like a brand new figure and I love his look now. I know that there is a new Buzzworthy Bumblebee Cup that's coming out that has the more G1 accurate look, but I can skip out on that one now because I am more than happy with what Toy Hacks has done for this figure. Now, I forgot to show off during the Cup Robot Mode decals his comparison with G1 Cup, so you can kind of get a quick look at the Similarities with the decals, with the knee decals, the decals here on top of the chest, the belt buckle, and the feet. Though I do think they should have had red there for the feet instead of white. So all in all, a great decal set and highly recommended if you have Studio Series 86 Cup. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I've got to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!